my name is Gary Shotton, and today we're going to talk about the law of exchange. You know, there's certain uh, key lessons that could make the hierarchy of importance and make what I would call the top of the list on the keys to wealth. And, you know, if you're going to open up a door, you might have one padlock on it, and then somebody that wasn't quite secure might have another padlock, and if you weren't real secure, you might have as many as seven, eight, ten padlocks on a door. And if you were wanting to enter that door, then you'd have to pull out those seven keys, and you'd have to unlock each one of those seven locks in order to be able to enter through into the new other side of the door opening. Well, you're on this side of the door, and the other side is wealth, and I would say that there's certain keys that you've got to put into place, turn, make work for yourself in order to get into that wealth category. And we're not talking about riches. That's not the same. Money and riches are a sub uh, component of a bigger thing that we call wealth. Your health, your, your relationships with your family, uh, your relationships around your attitude in life. I mean, there's things that are way beyond just riches that I consider uh, the important things to wealth. Now, what do I mean by law of exchange? Well, if you believe at all in creation, which I do, we were created in a way that we have exchanges of things. I bring in oxygen for my body to breathe and work and I give out carbon dioxide. I'm exchanging oxygen for carbon dioxide. But plants do the opposite. They exchange carbon dioxide and put back oxygen. That's an exchange. There's something done that transforms something into a, 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 a medium that benefits the other person. So when you're working on a job, I have the opinion that your law of exchange, your primarily tool of exchange is your time. You put in 40 hours or 50 hours and you received a paycheck at the end of the week. You put in another 40 or 50 hours, you exchanged your time for that money. You stop working that day, guess what? They start stop giving you a paycheck. So you have this law of exchange working on all the time in your life. Uh, in a more broad sense, you know, if somebody was lonely, I would say start giving out compliments and be open and, 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 and uh, friendly. You would have friends in exchange for that. So there's all kinds of things that tie into this law of exchange. And where that comes in important to you as a, as a business owner is the ability for you to be fair. The ability to make an exchange that was fair. Just, I was just asked just a few minutes ago about a property, a piece of land that was across uh, where I have my building, and is that land worth, in this case, a certain dollar figure, a certain amount of money? And I said, you need to calculate the square footage, in our case, divide that into the, the price that they're asking, and, and use those numbers to come out to so many units of money per square foot. Now, I'm, that person's going to exchange money for that piece of the land. I, uh, I have uh, workers here, and, and so where, where's fair? What's fair? Well, you, you shop around and you find what other uh, lands of similar value. There, some are going to have stronger points and some have lesser strengths uh, to them to arrive at a price. But you're going to have to come with the, the understanding that you have a fair exchange of that money. You're going to have to become skilled in knowing how to exchange money, not how to change uh, uh, American dollars into Mexican pesos, but how to be fair in the way you spend your money, the way what you get in return for your money. And any time that gets out of balance, any time that that gets lopsided, any time anybody gets greedy, gets too much, over a period of time that relationship is going to fall down. Now, you may be surprised here uh, for the last four years, we have not been increasing our price to our customers for any reason at all. Oh, if there was a mistake or they changed the design, then we get a requote it. But our customers are expecting us to actually lower our price. In one particular customer, they're very open about it, they expect what's called a 
cost management partnership where we're expected to bring to them each month a certain dollar amount of suggested savings in the parts that we're going to give to them. So in this exchange process, I'm exchanging my information, my ability to make the part cheaper, but not making it more. And so you're going to have to be able to negotiate, be able to determine what's fair in each one of these cases. You're going to have to be able to uh, use the, the law of exchange in, in hiring people. You're having people come on board with you that are giving up a portion of their life. Is what you're paying them a fair wage, including all the benefits, all the, all the things that go with it, is that fair in exchange for them working for you 20 years, 30 years? They're going to have to decide, but I think I have a responsibility also. This law of exchange is paramount for you to understand that you're always going to be dealing with the law of exchange. It's impossible. Every time you breathe in carbon, or I mean oxygen, and give out carbon dioxide, you're a part of the law of exchange. Every time you buy or sell a product, you're part of a law of exchange. We've used dollars or pesos or whatever currency you are for, uh, working in as the exchange medium, but eventually, is it a fair exchange? I hope this helps. I hope that you work on this. My assignment would be to just think it through. Am I got, have I got a fair exchange here? Am I being too greedy on something? I, have I got too good of a deal? If it's too good of a deal right now, it's probably not going to last very long. I work on the premise that we have many, many parts that we sell. We want to make a fair margin of profit on every single part. Now some we do better and some we do not so good, but it's a similar margin of profit on everything we make. And now we're in business for a long term. Our customers know that. We've had customers now for 30 years, another customer for 30 years, and another customer for 20 years, and that has made up 90% of our business for many, a big part of my years of ownership here. So we're committed to be fair in the exchange. What we send to them, they, they get a fair return for what they paid to us. Hope this helps. Thank you for being a part of this. Please share this with others. Thank you.